हेलो एवरी वन आई एम राज एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब ए पाइथन जेंगो प्रोजेक्ट कंटेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम विच इज डन बाई मी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट Okay, so content management system is nothing but a responsive, dynamic website. It provides a platform where author can create own blog post and reader can read different different blog published by author based on sorted category. So first of all, I will give you complete tour of this site. Then we will discuss about coding part. Okay, so. This is home page of our Brood Blog website and here is one logo and navigation menu. After that we have full scale image with welcome text. Next we can see here 4 cards containing categories and descriptions with beautiful hover effect. And next we have some features about our Brood Blog website with beautiful hover effect again and after features we have some testimonial with a beautiful quote now move to the navigation bar let's click on blog and it will redirect you to login page because we are not logged in user ok let's go back Next we have contact us, it will redirect you to contact us page, here we can place our query. Now let's go back. Next we have sign in, it will redirect you to login page and at last we have get started. So let's get start. Get started redirect you to sign up page let's sign up with user let's say my name is deep and email is deep at the red gmail dot com and first name is deep and last name is kumar and password is confirm password okay let's sign up then it will go to the login page let's login with deep deep and okay now we are logged in this is our blog page and on the top of the page we can see navigation bar having user deep and options like log out my profile blog and create post and here we have a search box and some categories and list of cards let's go into post retail of this post here we can see this is block title author name and date part here we have edit post option as we know we are normal user not a author of this post and only author can edit his post so let's try to edit this post here we go so this is a standard 403 forbidden error we are getting this because we are not authorized to access this post now again go back to detail page ok now we have content here and you can see bold text hyperlink image and asterisk spacing over here 
to getting such type of functionality we have used a third party applications called dynamize okay now move to the blog page again let's check functionality of categories part i am clicking on programming and i get two filtered post of programming let's go back and now again click on artificial intelligence here we also get two post of artificial intelligence let's go back again okay now let's check searching functionality so i am searching on word here and i am getting all post containing on keyword now let's move to the my profile sections okay so i am getting profile section here we can see default user image here i have added some field here you can add more field as you want let's update profile okay we have some auto filled sections and we have to update date and image part only so i'm choosing image file over here and let's update okay now we are good to go profile is successfully updated we can see here now i want to change my password so i'm clicking on password change and this is password change form let's enter old password new password and new password confirmation and now submit and we are getting this success page so i have changed password successfully now go back to blog page and let's try to create post okay again we are getting same error message because we are not author for that as a admin i am going to assign this user as a author so i will have to open my admin interface okay here we have group section and in group section we have two group first one author and second one user each group having certain permission let's go back and search our user to give author permission okay here it is now i am assigning that user to author group okay and let's try to create post and now we are accessing this page now i have to create a post so i will copy paste content from here Okay now we are getting details page let's move to the cart sections 
let's try to edit post why we are getting this error because we are author but this post is not created by us so let's edit our recently created post okay I am changing category okay and now update and here we go we successfully edited our post now we have discussed all about blog page now suppose we forget password then we have to reset password okay for that I am log out from here now we are on home page click on sign in and forget password here we have to enter our email address and submit now look at this text we have shared email to your registered email address please check so I am taking shared email on console let's check this is our email and this is shared link let's copy this one this is one time usable link okay and paste here here we have to set password let's enter new password and new password confirmation and press submit so we have successfully reset our password now go back to login page and home page okay so we have discussed all front end interface part now it's time to move towards code this is my project hierarchy we have two application in this project first one account which contain all authentication related part like login logout forget password reset password sign up and profile part and second one is blog which contain all post related part like post detail search functionality category etc and this is our root folder in this we have setting.py all setting related to project and url.py root urls next we have media folder which contain all image uploaded by user and dynamize setup and this is outer template folder which is empty because we have stored all template inside the application let's have a quick look into account in account applications we have migration static and template static file contain all CSS JS and static image file and template contain all HTML files and here in models.py we have two models user and profile user model inherited from abstract user and here we have some user field and profile field whenever user is registered or sign up profile is automatically created by using signals in signal we have this piece of code which will automatically create the profile of registered user and assign that user to user group as we discussed we have two groups 
author and user and for each groups having limited permissions and here we have used sign up create view home page view profile view and profile update view this is sign up create view which inherited from create view and this piece of code handling user creation and this is home page view this is inherited from template view it will render home page template and profile view also inherited from template view and login required mixon login required mixon is redirect us to login page if we are not logged in user and same we have used in profile update section this is our profile update view it is inherited from login required mixon and views and this piece of code handled profile update part now come into the url part this all url handle login log out sign up edit profile password change password reset part now let's look into block application in blog we have same file as present in account app now go to models.py in models.py we have two classes category and post in category we have name description and select field and in post we have title select content status category image date and author category is the foreign key in the post it will help us to sort at any post based on category and category having relationship with post one to many okay and this is get absolute url and here we our write a new save method on existing save method come into views in views we wrote class based and function based view here i have commented all function based view and here only i am using class based view this is post list view it will display list of all post having status published this is inherited from login required mixon and list view and next we have post detail view it will display details of particular post it is also inherited from login login required mixon and details view now we have contact form view it will handle all contact related part and admin can get query of particular user next we have post create view this piece of code handle all post creating part and this is inherited from login required mixon and permission required mixon and create view we familiar with login required mixon and now we have permission required mixon permission required mixon help us to restrict access to particular group as we already discussed we have two group user and author and every group have certain permissions so permission required mixon take care of it now next we have post update view this piece of code handled all update part and this view also inherited from login required mixon permission required mixon user passes test mix mixon and update view user passes test mixon also handle permission required part now next we have search view this piece of code handle all searching functionality and after that we have a specific cat list view it will handle all sorting part of category now let's move to the urls.py 
दिस यू आर एल्स विल हैंडल ऑल कॉन्टैक्ट पोस्ट कैटेगरी पोस्ट डिटेल्स एंड सर्चिंग रिलेटेड पार्ट ओके हियर वी आर यूजिंग डाटा बेस एस्क्यूलाइट थेरी दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द कोडिंग पार्ट नाउ आई एम बाइंडिंग अप दिस वीडियो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो we will discuss more functionality of another project okay thank you